going on for yeah, you. Yeah, I see the cooking. I see. So I'm saying you go ahead. You're getting a better message. Something about flying kites on Easter. Did you, did you used to do Easter at their house? Do you remember? Because I can see your grandfather outside, like, running this kite for you and, like, her being scared to death because he, she was thinking he was too old to be doing it kind of thing. Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> there's nothing what done for That's you great. to, like, keep, like, faith going. Oh. Knitting is too. Knitting. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Like, uh, I thought it was crochet. Okay. You're right. Yeah, so the hooks. What a, yeah. I told you I needed you. The one with the hooks or the straight? She's saying the straight ones with the two. The knitting. Okay, so knitting. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, so it was knitting. She's literally sitting there knitting, and it's like something, and I see the big bowl, the spool of yarn next to her in this rocker, and she would, like, sit there and just rock and knit things for her. She just did it for fun, but that's, like, a huge memory for you, I guess, and there's something about the way that that yarn would smell. I don't know if it like, was, like, on her hands or something, but when she would hug you, you would smell that, so that resonates a lot with you. It's like, when you go to a craft place, you'll, like, smell the yarn, maybe? I don't know. Um, a hot chocolate in the I feel like that was more so your grandfather, though, because he was the one that was very, very childlike. She is, like, more so infinite wisdom. Like, cooking and doing things like that. How do I put that? She on? ruled the roost. She ruled the roost. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> child was very... He was still such a child. I mean... He was a man. Yes. yes. He was very... Play with you. Tickle you. Throw you guys. Catch you when you came back. Like, full-on play with yeah. you. Very, very, yes, very childlike. He didn't lose the childlike nature throughout his whole life, and that served him well in his life, just so you know. He did it. He succeeded at that, he says. I succeeded at that part. That was a something I was supposed to succeed at, and I, I did use it. I, I, yeah, I see that. Uh, was your, was your I keep seeing her I don't know hands. why I said I don't... but that's my grandfather's name. Um, was she in the military, like the Navy? I don't know I got a military pull, but I got, like, a Navy pull for that. I don't see that. Uh, that's another death. That's a younger male. Okay. Well, there's a Navy pool somewhere or a military pool, but I'm seeing Navy because I'm seeing like the sailor uniform, like the whole full white class uh, Bs. Maybe her dad. Maybe her dad. Thank you, Tasha. Yeah, I see a Navy pool for you. I don't know either way, but they're coming to me in the naval uniform. Oh, yep. Yeah, looks like a j younger gentleman with brown hair. Um, very nice. Yeah, I kind of feel like he did maybe passed away in the military or in a war. Maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not going to touch on that so much because I'm not sure. What I will say is he's very drawn to it and tied to it. So. I'm trying to understand um, why he came through. Because okay. There was never a... There is a guy that's coming through, like I'm saying, that's in a naval uniform or in like a white suit. Looks like a naval uniform, and I'm I'm feeling that, but I don't know why. But he's coming to you. To, I, I for I don't know why. He just wants to tell you that like he's safe. I'm safe here. That's what he's saying to me. That's fine. It's fine. Not everything resonates. You might not know who it is. It might be like an ancestor or whatever. And it also could be too that it's a message for somebody that you're close to and that you're going to give this message to them. Okay. So if that resonates in any way, go ahead and just know that this person wants whoever this is to know that they are safe and that everything is fine and peachy over there. They're like, it's fine and peachy over here. I don't know what we were so worried about that whole time. Um, There's some with what you just said, that must be why she came through. Because all she's showing me is your childhood and all the beautiful, funny, laughing, giggling memories of your childhood. So I don't know what that is that completely cut off any memory of your childhood. But that's a complete reminder that there is beauty in that. There was laughter. There was happy times. There was that childlike love and innocence and laughter. So remember the happy times. Really try to remember that smell. Try to what it was like to have those cookies baked for you on your birthday try to remember all the happy bits that's what she wants for you yeah and the guy that i'm seeing for you is like sitting on a dock okay he's sitting on a, like a long boat dock almost like if you were to go to like okay i don't know if you've ever gone on a cruise but it's going to be kind of like when you like dock at like a port and it's like those long docks that come out to the water that's what i see him walking out to me on like a super long dock and it's like in a um tropical like setting like Bahamas, Caribbean, it's tropical, something like that. 
So that's the setting that I see him in. Just so you're aware. I want to say like Hawaii. Because he just showed me volcanoes. So I'm going to say Hawaii. Don't know if that, why that resonates. Um, but yeah, that does. Definitely Hawaii, I would say. Uh, even ask your mom. Ask your parents about that. Because they'll remember that stuff too. They'll remember her knitting. They'll remember her baking. They'll remember the Easters. And they'll, they'll really help you remember too. And it'll really help bring you guys back to a really loving family life and a really happy time in your life and help um okay thank you yep um there's gonna be a lot of healing that comes from that and a lot of beautiful memories that come um <laughs> yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and go on my cards and i'll let this message come through all right so the first card i got for you baby is style Okay, and what Spirit wants me to say about the card, that you got the style, you got style, like, I don't know if you feel like you're, like, a boring, plain Jane, you know, blah, just a normal human being, it's not true, you have style, okay, you have your own unique style, you do notice what it is, you, you think it's quirky little, oh, it's, like, quirky little thing, that's your style, that's what it is, you have the style, they want you to hone in on that style and really bring it out of you, bring her out, show her to the world, she wants to see the world, too. Not, not the mask, you know what I mean? Not the mask that we all put on ourselves because we're afraid to let everybody see it. Show her out. She wants to be seen. Um, and then you're in the card that, like, they just go so well together because your next card is competence, okay? Competence. You need to know that the style that you have is okay and you need to be competent to basically, like, I'm, I'm competent. Like, I know I got this. I know I got this. I know I can pull her out and be her anytime I need to be. You know what I mean? Use that. Use this warrior face right here when somebody tries to test you really truly pull her out of you and use that style that you got those little quirks and little ticks about you right um and then this is going to be your future enrichment like when you finally step out and let her be seen and use your style and put your style into the like the, the things you want to do or the just like your normal experiences during the day going to the grocery store filling your gas like you can be her Nobody knows that you aren't her, you know what I mean? Because you tried to be her, you decided to be her, you, you decided to pull her out, you know what I mean? Um, and you're going to be enriched. You're going to be this right here. You're going to be so full of yourself that nobody could ever tell you again that, oh, that's weird, or, oh, that's not you, because you know who it is. Uh, it is you. It's always going to be you, and it always has been. I agree with that 100%. You're going to get a lot more value from that from your childhood, too, and how and things about you kid and how you kind of lost sight of it because you're forgetting that now and you're forgetting how much how magic you brought into people's lives and how happy you made them from your childhood there's a big for you so once you unveil that literally everything holly just said is gonna happen yeah you guys um i like I, what i'm gonna tell you right now is we like to be raw and open with you guys like we had masks on too you know what i mean we always had a mask on we were afraid for people to know that we're psychic mediums we were afraid to tell people that, you know, spirits come and talk to us. You know what I mean? Not everybody understands that. We were afraid of that too. But there's a time in your life where you have to stand up for yourself and say, you know what? I really, really, really deep down inside me know that I need to be living this way and not be putting a mask on anymore. And those people in your life that don't understand that, you guys, are going to start to leave. And you're going to start to feel better. And even though right now that might seem scary um, to lose those people, they were going to go on their own journey at that time, okay? And they might find themselves back, you know, on your doorstep one day. Just know that. Hold that in your heart and know it.